Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about video podcasts. So I personally didn't get into them until quite recently when my favorite like YouTubers joined the game. The reason I started listening was because I was just excited to see my YouTubers in a, you know, exciting new way, more personal, less filtered. And I think a lot of people have felt the same way because podcasts in general have just been increasingly popular over the years. Uh, not only will you find a, you know, a podcast on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, you'll find them on YouTube, especially with a video version. And then Spotify right now is actually currently launching their video podcast form, which is kind of crazy because it's just an audio form, but now you can see a little video. For example, Emma Chamberlain just released her video podcast exclusive to Spotify. So she's definitely, you know, the celebrity face that's kicking off this new form for Spotify. I think Spotify has seen the success of YouTube podcasts and decided to join. Just all of this in general, just Spotify um, hopping on and everything. I was curious about like the phenomenon and why we're watching podcasts instead of just listening to them. Just in general, there's been an immense number of celebrities specifically that have joined. The reason I got into this project and this topic was because I was thinking about all the celebrities that do podcasts, but then I never myself saw any like crime podcasts or educational podcasts that had a video version that had like the host front and center on a camera. I feel like that's still, um, they're still sticking to, you know, a regular just audio form. I was just curious why the video has launched and why celebrities are the only ones doing it currently. That's a bold statement, but in general, they're the only ones doing it. My thought was the video podcast might be, you know, a new form of media, but to me, I think there's a lot of um, things that are familiar about it. To me, the video podcast has become the new daytime talk show. Talk shows are just formal, a little outdated, and I think that video podcasts are meeting us halfway to become that style of entertainment for our new generation. So let's start with the why. Um, like I said, I was very curious in general why video podcasts are becoming so successful. So whether you're successful from YouTube, TikTok, Twitter even, you still fall under the umbrella of social media influencer. Dan Weinstein, who is a current co-founder of Underscore Talent Agency, says, Hollywood hadn't been disrupted in ages, and here came the disruptors. A new brand of talent, a new breed of celebrity, and a new form of entertainment. When it comes to influencers, we know how quickly they hop onto trends and what's successful. So you knew that they were going to hop on podcasts the second that it was successful. I don't know if anybody remembers that era where every YouTuber came out with a book. That was insane. But anyway, influencers just hop onto things so quickly. My current go-to podcasts are Unhinged by Chris Clemens and Relaxed by Colleen Ballinger and Eric Stocklin. Both of these podcasts, they're both YouTubers. For podcasts in general, even legitimate celebrities who have been on TV and movies have been joining the game. First thing I think of is Jenna Fisher and Angela Kingsley host Office Ladies, where they talk about, you know, behind the scenes stories of their hit show, The Office. Michelle Obama is even starting her own podcast called The Light Podcast, and that one's exclusive to Audible. According to Fiona Sturges in her article, A Real Turnoff, are celebrities ruining podcasting? She talks about the pandemic and how celebrities that had extra time on their hands that couldn't even, you know, go to work, they went and grabbed a microphone and decided to do this instead. Podcasting is an easy and expensive and virus-free way to produce content. We could definitely thank the pandemic for the evolution and just development of where podcasts are today. Now back to that article. They think that celebrities are ruining podcasts. I personally think that they are the ones bringing it to where it is today. I think they're changing it in so many ways and really making them better. From a fan standpoint, I think video podcasts make podcasts more personal. You know, you're visually seeing them. You kind of feel like you're in the room with them. I've noticed a lot of podcasters will either sit at a desk, but a lot of them just sit on their couch or sit on their bed. And I think that just makes it more relaxed. And then I just think having such an uncut form of these celebrities and influencers, it just feels like you get to know them more personally. Let's get into why I think the success of a video podcast comes from what generations of people have already enjoyed for years. 
We all know the classic daytime talk shows like Ellen DeGeneres and the Oprah Winfrey show. There's also late night talk shows like Jimmy Kimmel Live. These types of daytime shows and talk shows have been around for years. You know, with this increase in video podcasts, you know, I've been starting to see the connections between the two. In general, there's obviously a lot of different genres of podcasts out there. But specifically when it comes to celebrity podcasts, there's even a lot of different styles and genres within that. So that's what I'm going to talk about and why I think just all the different styles, all of them emulate different styles of talk shows. So a lot of celebrities and influencers in these podcasts, they have a lot of different segments. So another example is one of my favorites is Unhinged by Chris Clemens, the podcast. In the beginning of his podcast, he would go into, you know, the latest news going on at the time, his opinion on it, what he thinks. He had another segment where he would read his listeners' secrets, and he would also listen to voicemails and give them advice. So all these segments, to me, especially remind me of the Wendy Williams show, where she would go into that segment called The Hot Topics, where she would talk about, you know, celebrities and the latest gossip. And we all know how entertaining that was. Wendy also loves to go out into the crowd a bit sometimes to listen to their, you know, issues, give them advice. So I just think, you know, Emma and Chris, they're definitely emulating that uh, personal talk show, getting in with their audience. Even though the audience isn't there, they're still connecting with that audience, getting to know them personally, saying their opinions. Another form of talk show, obviously, is just like the interview portion, interview style of it. As of late... There have been, you know, new talk shows like the Kelly Clarkson show and the Drew Barrymore show. You know, they're known for having celebrities on, talking about, you know, funny stories, the latest things they've worked on. In video podcasts, they've definitely latched onto that as well. Rob Lowe has a podcast called Literally, where he chats and interviews, you know, with celebrities for, you know, a good long hour. Podcasts are making what these daytime talk shows have and making them even better Uh, because when you think about it I mean on YouTube when I see little clips from like the Kelly Clarkson show they're always like two to five minutes long barely anything and you get this slight story that's honestly pretty you know the celebrities always kind of know what they're gonna say the podcast form the fact that it's longer like I've said a million times it just seems more unfiltered and genuine I think that having celebrities Um, in this long unfiltered form has just made interviews even better we get to know them even more I just think this is definitely a new and better transition from the regular talk show just to wrap it up you can see since celebrities are bringing a lot of success to this forum and video podcasts are coming out like crazy you can see how much it's developed into many different styles the creativity has been immense for all types of fans to enjoy Influencers in particular have taken their status and showed that we as fans will truly listen to anything they say, to be honest. As fans, we love how more interactive it can be and how we get to know them in a very unfiltered way. And the fact that this medium emulates a talk show so well is just something I cannot unsee anymore. And that's all. Thanks for watching.